Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Dola with another new video, Declarators. In this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we'll design a isolated or single foundation or footing when it is in ECT condition. Okay, so for ECT condition, we'll design a foundation. So I'll simply click here new, and before that, you have to select the code from here. I'm using uh, SCI code. So here and US unit after that I'll just come here foundation okay and from here the footing analysis and design from here go to continue right and uh, which types of foundation this is pad obviously this is pad base and you can see here and if you want to use a strip then you're also able to do that this is a strip and um, this is for pad okay so for pad base this is also okay and now uh, putting the pad base and here uh, the length is considered that that is 8 feet by 6 feet first of all i am considering and the depth is I am just considering okay. I am just considering that on and here the um, depth of soil uh, at how much depth of foundation base are remaining. So here 18 inches and considering 18 inches and soil properties you have to give a gross or net bearing pressure. So I am considering gross and um, uh, gross pressure. So consider that that is 2 ksf and soil uh, density of soil that is 120. We you know that and angle of internal friction and angle of base friction if you have any base friction you can give here okay otherwise you can ignore that value like that right and coefficient of base friction and uh, you can also consider the coefficient of base friction and also if you have so i'm just considering that also if you have the resistance of soil against sliding so if you have a sliding condition or if you think that your foundation tends to sliding then you can use that option and by using that option raka and clomb or user defend you can uh, use just that value for case and kp you know that as a civil engineer so i'm not considering any sliding here so i just simply click okay so when it's okay and after that we have to come here the density of concrete with 150 bsf we know that and uh load dead load source if if we have any thrusters over foundation then we can give here so i'm just considering we have uh 20 k sorry uh, 15 psf and also for dead load there's 15 psf thrusters over our foundation when it's okay after that i'll just come here calculate option okay so here the, you are seeing that for dead load and live load will uh, do that for only dead load and life and if you have any wheel load earthquake load or for anything you can select that from here if you have that load i mean if you record that load okay so this is analysis only and factor of safety for overturning so i'm considering 1.5 and factor of safety against sliding i'm also considering 1.5 it's applicable and from here you are able to uh, for service load okay for service load uh, combinations which types of service load combination you have to select from here you can select as per uh, american code uh, i mean asc american society for civil engineers and the uh, sds sds so you can also provide that value here so i'll just simply click ok after that the final value for fee uh, column so i'll just click add i will add a column so from here where actually our column will remain so here um, i mean I'm, I'm considering the sizes 10 inch into 10 inch okay and here the position now the important thing the important thing or in length l ratio that is how much uh eight so i'm considering that is 12 inch in lx and 12 inch 12 inch in l i i mean on fit into on fit our column and here we are seeing that our column uh, in l x direction that is four feet 
and uh, eight feet and uh, with alloy that is six feet so i'm considering that our column are si situated at that corner so how we just place that column here so um, we'll use that option okay so here position in x-axis okay position in x-axis how much distance away that is 48 48 that means four feet away from that face so if i consider it has zero just see column have come here right and again so how much i'll consider here i'll consider six inches. just see here is our column and also i'll just give two inches or uh, i'll just give you consider here um, they have uh, two inches side distance otherwise uh, it's okay and also for that one that is six inches. so just see we have considered that our column is here our column is here right this is the position of our column now when it's here i will just for dead dot how much i'll consider dead dot suppose uh, for dead dot 25 and consider that live dot that is four i'm just considering i'm just considering that if you have any moment you can add here or if you have any vertical load also you can add here so it's okay and on row flight load i'm not considering anything except the dead load and live load when it's okay i will just simply click okay so see here it is and preview analysis result i will see undefined variable uh, continue i'll just click average calculate analysis result maybe they have some problem we have to wait so uh, finally it's really showing calculation invalid because uh, in that condition this is not okay to use the foundation so for that i'll just again go edit and here i will take a uh, minimum uh, six cents so 12 into 12 okay i'll consider minimum uh in six cents in that side then i'll click okay and see uh, this is also invalid as per that software so again i'll just go and uh, i will just consider 18 and here also i'll consider 18 and see is it okay or not in this way uh this is also not okay so what i can do see here uh, the calculation will base reaction act outside combined middle third okay so base reaction are working in that side that means this, this is not okay the foundation will uh, use so if i use here uh, 24 inch now see what happened so it's not okay also so i'm just using 15 as, as well and i'm changing the direction so from here what will be if i consider 12 and here if i consider uh, 36 uh, here uh, now see what happened now it's okay let's see now it's okay but uh, soil bearing this is not okay so here the soil bearing acting on that side in huge way okay so uh, here what i can do that uh, if i increase the section size 18 then see it is okay or not So it's not okay. So what I can do that we have to increase the section that size. Okay, size of that foundation have to increase. So for that, actually here we are seeing that the foundation are acting load from that point to that point. I mean almost half foundation are working here. So that's why uh, it's not recommended to use eccentric foundation anymore, if possible. Okay so here what i can do that i can increase the size in that direction okay in y direction so for iteration if you use eight now see what happened okay four it's now it's up from four okay um it's four now and also if we increase in that side that direction so 
uh, in that direction what will be c it will be for 10 so c what is now is 3.25 so if we increase little bit in that direction or if i increase the thickness so it will be uh, 24 okay 3.252 we'll see how much change we get 3.25 so it's also increased so i will do uh, i'll just consider that is 15 that is absolutely okay and for share check we'll just go for it so just see this is uh, 3.2 now uh, if i increase that a little bit 10 feet by 10 feet just see this is almost okay just we need to increase that little bit otherwise consider that your um, soil bearing capacity that is 3 okay we can consider our soil bearing capacity that is 3 so okay now it's absolutely it will be absolutely okay so it's okay and here i can increase 8 maybe it will be okay or not see no um, it's in x that is uh, it will consider that is 9 9 feet by 10 feet so it's okay now okay or uh, that condition is okay so when it's okay now we'll go for the next for design step now analysis is okay now we'll go for design so if uh, you will see the uh, review that our condition is okay or not so wow well, see here every value is okay also share is okay okay and also the reinforcement diagram and this is for y and here you can change the design code requirement so i'm just closing and materials details i'm considering three thousand and nominal power three inch it's okay it's also calculating and here the reinforcement detailing so here i'll just come see the first, uh, first of all we'll check yeah now top reinforcement is required Okay, in x direction, in x direction, in that direction, top reinforcement is required. But for bottom, if we check, no top reinforcement is required. I mean, for uh, x direction, no top reinforcement is required. But we are not able to use only a, a top reinforcement in one direction. Okay, I mean, for x direction only, for in that direction, we are not able to use. We are not able to use. That reinforcement so what we'll do actually i'll just um here the required is 4.4 and what can you do i can use number five bar so it's not okay so if i increase the one bar now it's okay for top and for bottom allow uh, for uniform distribution of the way allow for uniform distribution short way if i decrease that so required is 2.2.92 that we have provided 4.4 so i'll just use 4 okay and i'll increase 1 it is not okay that is 2 that is not okay 10 and sorry only is 5 number 5 bar and if i use increase okay it's okay actually for 11 bar that is okay and also if i click here this is okay hello mm, for minimum to minimize the potential construction error placing lever okay so here uh, allow uh, uniform distribution of short wire reinforcement and again for here i'll use number five bar actually they have no requirement of bar that's the i'll use for number four bar or it's okay to use number five bar and there is ten and in that direction okay in uh, bottom bar in direction of y that will be number five bar number five bar and that will be 10 
so reinforcement is okay so everything is okay i will check that it is okay or not so it's okay now i'll just go little bit back to decrease our depth and i will say just click anywhere and see the section properties so it's okay and i'll go next and see if this share is okay or not even our share is okay so um, it's done okay so for that dot it's okay so for that dot it will be obviously okay so after that click finish and wait for some time to generate our report so here our report have generated and if i go bottom so see here the moment diagram and uh, share diagram this is the moment diagram and if i go later bit down so this is the reinforcement detailing okay, this is the reinforcement detailing of our river so in this way you are able to design a eccentric column so thank you thank you very much so stay connected till next video